Good to see you gang, Chicken Tots here. We're gonna do a little tutorial in GDevelop. We're gonna talk about pause menus, or just the ability to pause in general. Okay, it's dead easy to create a pause menu in GDevelop. You can do it in like three minutes, maybe less. Okay, so for this tutorial, I'm just gonna jump into the platformer tutorial project because it really doesn't matter. It's a super simple ad that you can throw into any project that you've got going on. Anyway, yeah, so we're gonna, whenever the player presses the escape key, so we go here to other conditions, key pressed, specifically looking for the escape key. You can use whatever you want really, but escape is just the most natural. So whenever the escape key is pressed, we're gonna change the scene to the pause menu. Oh, that's right. Okay, so we have to, we have to check a timer and I'll explain this here in a bit, uh, but we're gonna put a fourth of a second, a quarter second in for the timer value, and we're gonna call the timer pause. Basically what that timer does is just make it so that when you hit the escape button, it only triggers once instead of just constantly flickering between pause and unpause in like an infinite loop. I'll throw in some test footage at the end with the timer not included, and you can see how like, spammy it is. A quick update from the edit desk. It's just generally a bad idea to put flashing graphics or animations on screen ever for like epilepsy purposes, so we're not gonna do that. Okay, so it's changing the scene to the pause menu, which we don't have that scene yet, so we're gonna create it right here. It defaults to new scene two. We need to change it to pause menu to match what we've written in our code. And we'll go check that scene out. It is totally empty. So we're gonna make a, a little background graphic for it. It's just gonna be uh, plain color. Bonus tutorial, if you guys don't know how to do this, uh, you don't have to import a background object. That was me working in Piskel. I guess you couldn't see it because the window capture wasn't there, but yeah, I'm just gonna expand this rectangle here to cover the display, and I'm gonna add some text, and we're just gonna put pause in here to know that the game is paused. I thought I had some fonts loaded, but it was a new project, I'm a ding dong. And you're also gonna see another blooper here, uh, where, hey, let's just drag that in, and where's my text? What's going on? Oh, that's right. The background is black, the text is black. Okay, there we go. We're all good. So we've got our pause menu laid out visually. We just need to work on the back end here. And we're gonna basically mirror what we did in the other scene. We're looking for, at the beginning of the scene, we're gonna start a pause timer. Here we go. Let me work on this slowly as I try to piece together my brain. We're going to call that pause. Oh. And it's essentially going to do the exact same thing as we did in the other side. Um, so whenever you press escape inside the pause menu, what it's going to do is close out of... Oh, and it's, I also have to check the timer here. Yeah, we created the timer. Now we're going to check the timer. And you can play with that time. It may need to be shorter. It could be like a tenth of a second. Um, <clears throat> I'll test that out too. I'll throw in some bonus footage at the end. We can do a little bit of playing around. So yeah, stop and go back to previous scene. That's built into the engine. You just do that. That's literally all there is to it. There's your pause menu, guys. Two lines of code. Three if you include what we've done in the other scene. There you have it. Um, that's what it looks like on screen. Tested it a little bit and uh, yeah, it works well. In addition to the devlogs that I've been releasing, I'm also gonna continue to put out some tutorial and informative content like this. I love doing it. I can't wait to get into more of it. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Uh, if it was helpful or you learned something, hit the like button. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.